iCAN Design is the main control program writing tool in the iCAN Creative Suite. iCAN Design is used to write programs to control virtually every aspect of a machine's operation. Utilizing CAN bus technology, this platform allows us to bring together components such as engines, transmissions, displays, and joysticks, as well as the ability to control many different types of outputs, such as digital, proportional current, and PWM. We can also use the CAN bus technology to connect to a wide variety of expansion modules based on the specific needs of the application. Here is the main screen for iCAN Design version 5. The setup is fairly intuitive, with the window divided into three main sections. On the left side of the screen is the Project Manager pane. This is used to divide the program into logical groups and to access devices and signals throughout the program. On the right is the Property Inspector pane, which is used to define parameters and set values within the selected device or function block contained within the program. The large pane in the center is the editor where the program logic is created. We're currently on the top level tab, or the system tab, which is where you'll create the bus architecture and select the modules used in the application. There's also a help screen in the lower right hand corner. By clicking on any of the components, function blocks, or in this case, the diagnostics bus, it will give you information about that element. As you can see, we're still on the system layout page, but we've added an MD47 at the top. The MD47 is our 7-inch touchscreen display. In addition to being a display, it's a full controller with four independent CAN buses. We've taken the first bus, bus A, and have assigned that to be our expansion bus. This will allow us to connect CAN-based expansion modules to the master controller. You can see that we've added two XA2 modules, which are both high-capacity I.O. modules meant to handle a wide range of input and output digital and analog signals. We've also added a second bus, CAN bus B, and designated it as our J1939 bus. On this bus, we added two J1939 CAN joysticks. Since these devices were all added to the system layout page, they will also appear in the project manager pane in the system list on the left. As previously stated, the property inspector is on the right-hand side of the page. The property inspector shows the parameters of any of the modules, components, or function blocks that are selected. For example, when the MD47 is selected, you can see a list of its parameters in the property inspector, such as its address and whether the real-time clock is enabled. This is the application page where the machine programming resides. This page contains a range of function blocks that actually define the program. The typical layout would be inputs and function parameters to the left, outputs to the right of the panel, and all the math and instructions to run the program in the middle. Every function block has a specific control purpose with its own set of rules and parameters. This is where you can create the instructions, rules, and limits for that block. The iCAN Design software also contains the application to create display screen pages and to define buttons for the touchscreen. This is accomplished through different pull-down menus, which lead you to an assortment of lamps, gauges, and other screen elements you can use to convey information. This is all connected to the program using the Property Inspector, where you can connect to the different blocks and conditions that you want to use to trigger events and provide information.